Jamie Lying has admitted he told his wife Sophie Habbu he would divorce her after a year and a huge row pre-wedding. The Maid in Chelsea stars tied the knot again over the weekend in a stunning second ceremony in Spain. Jamie, 34, and Sophie, 29, said I do last month at Chelsea Register office in London in front of their loved ones, but wanted to waltz down the aisle in style for their famous friends. However, in a bombshell admission Jamie says he has to remain married to Sophie for a year. She explained, once he said during an argument, Uck I've got to stay married to you for at least a year. I was like, FKU. Jamie admitted on their Nearly Weds podcast, yeah that's true. If it was before a year, everyone would be like well that was short. But a year, then you're like that's alright. The upcoming podcast episode was teased on their Instagram page, which was captioned, Jamie's plan to divorce Sophie after a year, one day until the wedding. And we're just so excited so here's a little sneak peek at what's to come in next week's Big Wed Pod. In the clip Jamie told Sophie, it's so funny how our minds work because you're now so content that you're married to me. And you're a little nervous Nancy. Sophie replied. Admitting she was right, Jamie added, now I'm the stressed one. Joking that it was due to their recent legal marriage ceremony Sophie said, because you're so upset you've married me. You're like FK I'm locked in. She quipped, I'm going to slowly put candy kittens in my name, so you're locked in forever baby. Joking, everyone's going to think him a gold digger. The couple's second wedding took place in the grounds of Soda Grande, the largest privately owned residential development in Andalusia in southern Spain. Bride Sophie shone in an elegant, embroidered lace dress while Jamie looked dapper, wearing a sharp black suit and designer sunglasses. The happy couples made in Chelsea Powell's Spencer Matthews and Sam Thompson were in attendance, with Millie McIntosh, Hugo Taylor, Oliver Proudlock, Alex Mitten, and Kagi Dunlop also thought to have been invited. After a mix-up with the London wedding, which saw Jamie forget to invite his best pal to the registry office, Spencer was thankfully present in Spain to fulfill his duties as Master of Ceremonies.